Hi everyone, this is Rob, VK3BVW in Melbourne, Australia. If you're running multiple antennas at your location, and uh, particularly if you're using coaxial cable as the lead-in, then you need some sort of uh, antenna switching unit. Currently I've got three antennas here in operation. And uh, what I've used in the past is one of these little fellas. It's a Heathkit uh, coaxial antenna switch. Now, when the Heathkit company was, uh, was going 35 years ago, we didn't see much Heathkit product here in Australia. But we did see these. And uh, you buy it as a kit, and you screwed it all together, and you soldered it all up, and uh, away you went. And it worked really well. In fact, uh, it worked so well that I ended up buying two of them. So they've stood me in good stead for more than 35 years. But they've started to wear out now. So I had a look around on uh, eham.net, uh, that uh, great website, it's such a fabulous resource for amateur radio operators and shortwave listeners where they review so many pieces of, uh, of gear and uh, there were some good things out there and some things that didn't rate quite so well in, uh, in the view of some of the operators. So, uh, but one that did rate really, really well was from the Alpha Delta company and it's the uh, the Alpha Delta coax uh, switch and this particular model is called the Alpha Delta ASC and ASC stands for Antenna Selector Console Desktop Coax Switch so it's quite a mouthful um, it's quite a big unit compare it with the old uh, Heath kit and uh, it's really certainly quite a different size but it's also quite weighty too it, it is a very very weighty solid unit and I think the weight obviously comes from the powder coated steel housing that this thing is built from uh, which which really contributes to that uh, that weight it's got uh, fabulous good sized rubber feet on the base of it and it's designed to sit on the desktop so that it doesn't move around. Um, the switch is raised at an angle of uh, 20 degrees to the horizontal so that you can easily see where you're switching. So I usually have it up, up here uh, on this shelf uh, and it works really well but you can also have it down there as well. So I wanted something that was going to be close to my radio that I could um, get to quite easily. Now they do make other units here which are flat and uh, they can sit on the wall and so on. On the back of the unit are five SO239 sockets there for your PL259 uh, plugs to go into. The centre one goes to the radio and then there's two on each side for the antennas. Also along the back is a solid brass uh, ground bus with three points should you need all three to uh, to ground the whole unit and the um, it also the, the bus also goes through to the base of the housing as well uh, a feature of this is the what they call the arc plug which is a um, ceramic gas filled tube uh, designed to protect from uh, lightning strikes. Now, should one of your antennas get a lightning strike, this thing will blow and uh, it uh, um, takes everything to ground. So it's going to protect your gear as much as you can in a, in, in a lightning situation. Now the gear will stay grounded uh, once that plug blows um, until it's replaced or until you actually screw it out and remove it. You can operate the unit without the plug. Uh, so in an emergency situation, if you want to get back on the air again, you could certainly do it without the plug. You can get replacement plugs for these at most amateur radio stores. The unit, uh, if you're looking at the front of it, the uh, switch to common is, uh, means that everything is grounded. If you uh, switch to one of the antenna positions, that antenna position remains active, but the other antenna positions are still grounded. It's a really nice design. The specifications on this are at 30 megahertz. The SWR is 1.1 to 1. 
the insertion loss is uh, 0.1 dB, so you're not going to notice this thing's in the circuit. It's just going to uh, just going to be almost invisible. And it also has uh, co-channel rejection of greater than 60 dB. Uh, if you're transmitting, uh, it can take up to 2 kilowatts on SSB and CW uh, output, so uh, it certainly can handle some power. As I said before, it's a really solid unit. The uh, Alpha Delta Company uh, make um, equipment for commercial, government and military applications as well. So they know what they're doing. It's sort of a really, really solid design. Um, and, a, and a solid approach to design too. Uh, this particular unit, every time you move to uh, a particular switch position, they're really solid, definite clicks which indicate that it's it's nice and uh, nice and solid. So we're going to put this in circuit and, and see how it goes.